Hello! Hi! Third time's the charm! Woo! We are just really doing great with this. <laughs> iPhone, you are the plug. Apple, <laughs> www.apple.com. Don't go buy one. They will not work Record. when you need them to. No, okay, so we recorded our gender roles <laughs> video. Well, we tried to. This is our third time, so this time yes. it's gonna work and it's gonna be awesome. I'm believing. I am believing that it's going to work this time. Fingers crossed. High five to start it. Yes. Let's jump in. <sighs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so gender roles. Um, so, Individually, we've had our own reasons why we feel like at different times in our lives we haven't even fit into gender stereotypes, yeah. our, our own. Um, and then especially, when, so whenever we started our relationship, that was an interesting um, way of going about it because we were just best friends. So For nearly a year. Yeah. Which I don't know how many of you actually know that. Maybe all of you. But we were literally just best friends for almost a year before we even started into our relationship. So yeah. we had kind of already established a rapport that was different than most. Right. And we even we even um, bonded over <laughs> we bonded over the fact that we didn't necessarily fit into our gender stereotypes all the time. Yeah. Um, so we used to talk about that and like pick at each other with that. And, right. And then pick at our own zits yeah, in the bathroom. Yeah, that's true. We would literally be like sitting in the bathroom picking at our faces. <laughs> yeah, it was the would... best bonding. Yeah, it was good. It was, it was just interesting. It was an interesting way to develop things because I think right off the bat there was like no, there was no expectations at all no. going into th anything. But like I was, I was always like interested in what she was doing with her makeup and, but at the same time, like there was no weirdness about that. It was no. just kind of like. We were just two know. humans. Just two humans doing Being life. Friends. Yes. So, so I mean, times that I felt like I didn't fit in my gender stereotype. Um, I mean, growing up, there are some, and then now as an adult, you know, I, I didn't really, I wasn't really good at cooking. I hated doing laundry. I'm not a good cleaner person. Like, I, <laughs> I literally, he has to clean the dishes because I just rinse them and throw them in the, in the top. Um, <laughs> That's and, true. But it's because you're a good cook. Well, you, you cook I am and now. I kind of just follow after and clean and cut things saying, and all of that. I was saying then though, because well, because our the pressure for me as a girl to be, you know, the homemaker. Right. Um, and this is before our relationship. So yep. before we started dating. Um, whether it was culture or whether it was myself or whether it was my other guys I had dated had put this pressure in my head of being this homemaker who was good at all these different homemakery things and um, so either I was being rebellious and I just didn't do it because I felt like the pressure and the expectation or I think there were times that I was scared of failure like if I started cooking if I wasn't good then like what would that mean for me, you know, whatever, so. Right, right, there's like that weird pressure of like, there's like that let down, if you feel like there's something you should be able to do and then you can't do it. Yeah. And it just kind of makes you not even want to try at all. Yeah, exactly, so there's that, and then growing up, like I wasn't really boy crazy, I wasn't really into the fashion that was around me at the time, I was more comfortable in boy clothes, mm. I was shy, so I wasn't really bubbly, and I didn't really, talk a lot, I didn't squeal, like I wasn't a squealy kind of girl, and so I feel like I didn't fit in with my own gender stereotype, and I know you felt that way at times yeah. growing up too. So like for me, all of growing up, like there was definitely a, a, there was definitely a season where pretty much I think everybody in high school thought I was gay, just because of the way that I went about relationships. Um, with people, like engaging with people, um, the way that I just interacted, uh, even with other guys. And um, I think on top of that, because mostly I would make friends with girls, just because I felt like I had more in common with them, um, with like building relationships and stuff. Yeah. Um, guys would want to just kind of play video games and um, hang out and watch sports and stuff, and and that just wasn't stuff I was into. Yeah. Um, I was I was very much like I wanted to have deep conversations. conversations. I wanted to drive late at night and like just talk and listen to music and go drink coffee and <laughs> um, you know all that kind of stuff. And those are things that 
those are things that I love about you. Yeah. And which is perfect because I definitely feel like we're made for each other. But also I think um, we're really accepting human beings. And I just, that's kind of the next thing that I want to say is I feel like a lot of humans would be a lot more comfortable if we took off the labels of he and she of like, this is a girl yeah. thing, this is a guy thing and letting it be open. So with gender roles working in a relationship, we never had expectations of like, right. well, you do this because this is a guy thing or you do this because it's a girl thing or or even even with the reverse, whenever, I, I can't even think of something right now, whenever he would do something, okay, you would like, you would clean or you would fold laundry because you're right. better at folding laundry than me. I'm just particular. <laughs> and I would be watching football. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's right. something yeah, we totally. even like thought yeah. about until people have brought it up or we'll have conversations like this. We're like, oh yeah, I guess we're not typical. Right. It was never that something where we were like, oh, let's break the stereotype. Right. But I think that was super important for us going into a relationship with no expectations. Mm -hmm. Um because we had both kind of been there had been expectations on us our whole lives yeah, true. and especially in relationships with her like she had felt like there were expectations to be a certain way and that yeah. like in every season of life there was always something that was like a girl thing that she was supposed to do or a girlfriend thing that she was supposed mm. to do mm. um and for me i always felt like the odd man out i always felt like even when I hung out with my friends, like it was hard to be friends with guys because we just didn't like the same stuff. Hmm. Um, and so for us to come into a relationship where both of us were equally open. like open and accepting yeah. and like, yeah, just like no expectations at all was so great to be able to just like sink into that and get comfortable with that. And I mean, I feel like that if there's something I could recommend, it would be that. I mean, mm. for people who are in relationships or looking to be in a relationship, I think you should, one, take the pressure off of yourself. Mm -hmm. um, because as soon as I took the pressure off of, well, I took it off, but also just being in such a good relationship with yeah. Adam and his mindset and our collective mindset, I actually, instead of being scared of cooking, I actually started cooking and now I, I love cooking yeah. and I think I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> she is awesome. Um, she is so good. I'm like growing into those things because I'm like allowing myself to go there. And it's it's allowing there. yourself the room to experiment without the fear of failure. Yeah. So, so in true. everything. Yeah. And so in relationships, I, I feel like there's no right and there's no wrong way of functioning. Um, I think that there might be a typical way, but that doesn't mean it's the right way. For sure. And the non-typical way, that doesn't mean that's the right way either. It's just every single human is different, and then when you add two people together, it's going to be even more different, even more unique. Absolutely. And I think especially for our relationship, with both of us, like if we were with somebody that had those kind of expectations, like we were so created for one another that I think that's why it was so hard for us to be friends or be in a relationship with anybody else because we were created I believe with each other in mind yeah and and I don't I don't think there is I don't think there is I don't believe in the one until you <laughs> you're so cute I don't think there is a one right way to do a relationship. I think every pair and every individual is so different that the only way you can really go into it is... With an open mind. With an open mind. Yeah, I totally agree. Another way that we don't fit the stereotype or typicalness or whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm older. That's true. I am the elder in this relationship. <laughs> but a year and like four months. Which is awesome. I have to respect my elders. Yes, you do. I can't say all the sassy things I'd like to say right now. It's okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no, we, we do. We joke about that a lot. But who's to, who's to say that that's the right or the wrong way as well? For sure. You know, I actually am meeting more and more couples where the girl's older yeah. and their relationship is wicked awesome. It's all about mental age. It's all about where you're at. Everything is. Right. Because, I mean, literally, like... How does it make any sense to base a relationship on how many times you've taken a trip around the sun? That literally does not make it sense. It does make sense. But yeah, that's the same thing with any stereotype though. Like yeah. it's just somebody's 
perception of what it's just a label it's just a label it's right just, it's, it's somebody's just opinion that was at some point taken as truth by somebody else that passed it on to somebody else and it just kind of kept getting regurgitated until yeah. it became something that's normal but yes yeah it's always it's always just somebody's version of the truth i agree and i think so there are two documentaries that we'll list below yeah um one is called misconception which is the girl documentary and the guys is the mask you live in yeah. by the, they're by the same people but yeah. they're amazing they're really eye-opening uh, we recommend you watch them yeah um and something that they say in one of them is um so our personality traits and different qualities that we have as humans are 90 percent just just human and 10 percent right. are um XY influenced and XX chromosome influenced. Right. So there's really only 10% of qualities. I don't even know yeah. what they called it's, it. It's but... not even it's not even just emotions because it's other things too. It's Oh no, it's not emotions. It's the way you interact, it's the way you... It's the way you think about something, but it's just right. 10% that influences that. Um 90% is just human experience. Right. Which I thought was really interesting. I'm like, okay, like if we could just all just be human here. Right. It'd be it makes so much more love and for sure. acceptance in the world um, and less I, pressure. I right? think culturally, yeah. I mean, I think culturally, if people would just, like she said at the beginning, like take the he and she labels off of things, people would feel a lot less inclined to change themselves mm -hmm. to fit who they feel that they are. Yeah. I feel like... I feel like there's a lot of people in this world that are confused because the world is telling them that their feelings and their thought processes mm. and their actions are a girl thing if they're a guy or a guy thing if they're a girl. And if I think if we as a community, if we as culture. like a culture just said, hey, look, like if you are a guy and you are feeling something. That's okay. It is a guy thing to feel. It's, it's 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 human. Right. It's human. And same thing for me. I'm like, there are times when I was like, well, I would just wish I was a boy, and then I wouldn't have these pressures. But like, that's not fair. Like, I right. like being a girl. Like, I want to be a girl. But yes, I like to wear guy clothes, and yes, I like to watch sports, right. and that's a girl thing too. Because guess what? I'm a girl. Exactly. And that's just the way it is. It doesn't have to be that. I I'm a girl who likes guy things. I'm a girl yeah. who likes things and. I'm a girl, so therefore it's a right, girl thing. Right. <laughs> exactly. It's a human thing. It's a human Literally, thing. Literally, like, you just have your interests. Yeah. And that's it. Like, I feel like if people can just let go of all of the rules and all of the, like... Things will be a lot less complicated. Yeah. It, all of the guidelines and, and all of that around things. Boundaries. So many people would, would really... Thrive. Absolutely. And live their lives. Absolutely. And not feel this weird pressure. So, yeah. Going back to gender roles, um, I'm okay with fitting some mm. of my gender stereotype, and I'm okay with breaking them. And he's the same way, yeah. and luckily we both have the same mentality because that makes it a lot easier exactly. to function in a relationship together. I think, I think if you both just put 100% of yourself into the relationship, mm. and you're actually you know made for one another, right? Exactly. I think... True. People will thrive in a way that they didn't even understand or realize that they could. You say two whole people, not two halves of a whole. Exactly. We're two whole people who are working together as a team, who complement each other and balance each other yeah. out, and then are, you know, and are made whole together through Christ. Absolutely. You know? um, Absolutely. It's not 50-50. It's mm -hmm. not I'm getting giving half and she's giving half. We're both giving everything we've got, everything. and we're both diving so hard into Christ and our relationship with him and having him draw us closer to what we need to be within the relationship and what our person needs us to be in the relationship. Yep. Um, as long as that is where your head is at and as long as that's Heart. what you're chasing, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's going to work out. It's going to work out and it's so much better. You just got to gotta be accepting and loving and unexpected. Unexpected? But Unexpected, like, yeah. Yeah, like just no expectations. Just love. But anyway, that's it, guys. Yeah. Um, talk to us in the comments. We want to have this conversation keep going, keep that flowing. Would be 
fabulous because we don't just want to talk to thin air. No, we want to talk to you guys. So let us know what you think and we'll talk to you guys then. Bye.